Hi, welcome back to my channel, Teacher Noronyukha. Today, we continue the last topic in Chapter 5 Waves, 5.7 Electromagnetic Waves. What is Electromagnetic Waves? Electromagnetic waves are made up of electric field and magnetic field that oscillate perpendicularly to one another. So, as you can see from this uh, diagram, the electromagnetic wave consists of the component which is horizontal, we call it electric field E, and the component which is vertical, we call it magnetic field B. So as the electromagnetic wave propagate or travel, electric field and magnetic field will oscillate perpendicularly to each other and to the direction of the waves. So that's the reason why Electromagnetic wave can travel without any medium, meaning can travel in vacuum. So this electric field and magnetic field functions like a molecule, a medium that vibrates when electric electromagnetic field uh, travel. Okay, now let's look at the properties of electromagnetic waves. As you can see, the electric field and magnetic field vibrates perpendicular to the direction of wave Thus, electromagnetic waves are in the group of transverse waves. So, it does not require medium for propagation. It does not need medium to vibrate because it has its own electric field and magnetic field that vibrates perpendicular to the direction of waves. And it also can travel through vacuum. Electromagnetic wave has speed in vacuum, which is same. C equals to 3 times 10 to the power 8 meter per second and move with lower speed in any medium. So, these uh, electromagnetic waves also show phenomena of reflection, refraction, diffraction, interference under suitable condition. So, you want to discuss more about electromagnetic waves. So, electromagnetic waves actually is consists of electromagnetic spectrum. So, what is spectrum? So, electromagnetic uh, wave spectrum, it consists of seven types of electromagnetic waves to form a continuous spectrum. Okay, look at this one. Electromagnetic wave spectrum, components of electromagnetic spectrum. So, you can see all arranged according to the wavelength and frequency. From left to right, so you can see gamma rays, x-ray, ultraviolet, visible light, infrared, microwave and radio waves. So this one we call it component of electromagnetic spectrum. So we have seven, eh? seven, seven names here. All arranged according to the increasing wavelength eh? from gamma to radio and decreasing frequency okay, from gamma to radio wave. Okay. So we look at this one. Stated here, the energy carried out by electromagnetic waves is directly proportional to its frequency. This means gamma ray and x-ray carry large amount of energy so these waves need to be handled properly as not to endanger the users. Okay, we look at the gamma ray and the X-ray. This one high frequency wave. So for high frequency, it has higher energy. Okay, so penetrating power is higher. So this wave need to be handled properly as not to endanger the users. Okay. Now look at application of electromagnetic waves. So there are many applications. So uh, the first diagram here is a radio and then radio wave transmitter, microwave oven, okay, uh, to, for example, by using ultraviolet eh, to, at the airport. Okay. Infrared radiation, okay. camera, visible light, sun, 
ultraviolet radiation x-ray gamma ray okay so we want to discuss more about the the application uh, in electromagnetic waves okay look at this one the application uh, of each of the component in the spectrum of seven color so radio waves normally used for local tv and uh, walkie talkie yeah? normally for short distance or on earth okay so long distance radio communication local radio and tv broadcasting wireless communication bluetooth wi-fi zb and z wave might merely emit a wave machine to scan body of passenger at the airport okay so we still uh, we are using uh, this one radio wave so you can see uh, the function uh, or the application of radio wave so we normally use for tv radio uh, local uh, tv we cannot use for the satellite communication because uh, radio wave does not have enough energy uh, to, tra to travel above there okay microwave this one is international communication through use of satellite mobile phone framework communication between electronic devices wi-fi bluetooth zigbee and z-wave detection of plane radar and speed trap cooking using microwave so the function it can be used by the housewife for example okay or any anyone who want to cook so we use microwave oven so microwave uh, used normally for international communication worldwide satellite so of course uh, used in mobile phone okay so also used for cooking uh, microwave oven so these are all the microwave uh, uses okay next is infrared ray this one is for cooking normally we can see uh, oven grill and toaster for night vision infrared camera and infrared binoculars drying pain on car treatment of muscle pain remote control device for tv and dvd player so this one we use using infrared okay okay visible light this one enables uh, living things eh, to see photography photosynthesis better light use in the cutting of metal exposure of land and sending of information to through optical fibers so do I use visible light eh? so we use visible light to look uh, at one object so that we can see clearly eh, the object okay ultraviolet ray so hardens to tooth uh, feeling material determine authenticity of the current notes determine of the jaundice in baby purification of the dream water sterilizing surgical instruments and food sac entry okay so uh, this one uh, use of the ultraviolet okay x-ray so it detects uh, fractures or broken bones and examine internal organs so you want to check what happened to our organs uh, bones uh, if any accident occur checking of the welding connection baggage uh, scanning at the airport determine authenticity, authenticity of painting so this one we use uh, x-ray yeah? normally use uh, is a soft x-ray for the hard x-ray normally for the to observe the to observe the bones part or the structured inside our body okay the, the rest like baggage scanning okay determining intensity of the paintings you uh, also can use uh, x-ray or uh, we can use x-ray okay for this one gamma ray uh, very high penetrating power because uh, the highest frequency in the spectrum so sterilization or surgical tool and medical equipment in bulk uh, used in the food processing industry so that food can last longer so when we okay because discuss in terms of the medical uh, medical side of course uh, we need all the component uh, free from germs okay so we can use gamma ray to sterilize all surgical and magical uh, medical equipment in bulk okay use in food processing industry so that food can last longer 
okay so that one is about application so you can read more about the, this topic uh, so you can see there's a picture for each of the explanation okay this one is about the harmful effect of electromagnetic waves so that's one uh, short uh, instrument shown okay so this same uh, harmful effects of the electromagnetic waves, so this same cell phone signal can pass completely through a child's head. So this is only uh, one of the research eh, uh, done in one of the journals. So I just uh, take one example. So this is effect on the okay, brain eh, of a 5-year-old and 10-year-old and adult. So you can see the difference. If uh, for 5-year-old, the skull thickness is only 0 0.5 millimeters. So all the signal will be easily penetrated into the brain eh, of the 5-year-old okay. kid. Okay. So if for 10-year-old, you can see it can also penetrate but lesser eh, than the uh, the first one and then for adult skull thickness is uh, bigger so it just uh, penetrate a bit okay so you can see the effect huh, is more harmful on the five year old baby okay next uh, all you can read through about the research huh, done by Martin Pels so I just uh, take out from the journal uh, written by the researcher. So it reveals that, number one, nervous system and brain or tiredness, uh, headache, depression, depressive symptom, lack of concentration, attention, connective dysfunction, dizziness, vertigo, memory changes, restlessness, tension, anxiety, stress, agitation, irritability. Okay, so all the symptoms here may be caused by the uh, exposure to the electromagnetic waves. I think uh, we always expose. Eh? Normally, if, if we always use the Gavino, use the handphones, okay, uh, all the time. Eh? So this one will give effect. Endocrine hormonal syndrome, okay, uh, the steroid hormone level drop with EMF exposure, whereas other hormone level increase with initial exposure. So the neuroendocrine hormones and the insulin level often drop with prolonged EMF exposure. So this is uh, one of the effects also, eh? hormonal system eh, will be affected. Number three, cellular DNA attacks. Uh, they are related to cancer causation and produce most important mutational changes in humans and diverse animals as, uh, as future generation. Okay, so they also will attack the cellular DNA so this one will cause mutation okay to the human and the animal okay number four apoptosis process program cell death this can cause both uh, neural de degenerative diseases and infertility okay number five when we talk about fertility problem this can lead to lower sex hormone uh, lower libido and increased level of spontaneous abortion and already stated attack the like the the dna in sperm cell okay so this one will cause fertility eh, normally for men produce excessive intracellular cell, uh, calcium excessive calcium signaling you know, seven cancer 15 different mechanisms 